So what is going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel man, it's your boy and we have some new events that are kicking off today in Marvel Future Fight and I don't know about you guys, this one kind of threw me for a loop because I thought this event would be coming maybe next week? Because the last update, it felt like the event shop that brought the 4 star artifact, the icon, the premium card and the CTP chest came much later. Correct me if I'm wrong, boys. But anyways, this is good news because those of you guys who are waiting for the Hawkeye icon because you're really rocking with him right now, you'll get access to it. And then in addition to that, they're keeping with the trend of putting a four-star artifact in the shop for 500 tokens. And as always, you will be able to pick up a maximum of 700 tokens. So I'm always going to advocate that you go for a premium card if your cards are lacking or if you need to reroll cards to get more peers or additional all attack or whatever stats you're lacking. And then after that, at this point, I would really say you should consider going for the four star artifact if one of the artifacts in here you really, really want because you use that character a lot or their top meta. Now, it's been speculated that the artifact selector will have these 15 options. So Spider-Man, Kingpin, Black Cat, Emma Frost, Psylocke, Mr. Sinister Colossus, Adam Warlock, Gamora, Drax, Echo, Ultron, Thanos, Hawkeye, and Kate Bishop. I would say majority of these are top tier options. Like if I didn't have anyone in the first row, the first one I would consider would be probably Emma Frost for PvP because I think her artifact makes a big difference. Because of this artifact, she can literally spawn into fights and insta-kill characters without you needing to do anything. After that, I would say it's possibly Black Cat because of the fact that she's very useful for squad battle, ABX, and dispatch missions. And this is a support buff that can be applied to your entire team. And after that, if you care about ABX, it would be Kingpin and then Spider-Man. Betsy would be last just because she's not really needed anywhere. She's a very, very strong character, but she's not really needed anywhere. The second row here, I would say Mr. Sinister probably gains the most from his artifact because he gives him the undead passive. But in terms of the character that's the strongest in this row, it's probably Adam Warlock. But does he really need that passive heal? Not really, but it does make a difference, right? And then you have Gamora who... Everyone, if you've been playing, you should have a free four-star version of um, Gamora, so you should not pick this one up. Drax is pretty decent. For me, this month, I'm really going to think about either getting Thanos or Kate Bishop. Y'all know I'm simping for Kate Bishop hard right now, right? I've seen a bunch of people hating on me saying, yo, this man is overhyping Kate Bishop. Da, 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 da. You know what? Have your fun with whichever character you like, and let me have fun with whichever character I like, okay? All right, you don't see me criticizing you if you want to play with Hulkley. Let me play with Kate Bishop, bro. Okay? She's been bad for like five years. I want to play with her. All right, cool. Anyways, it's up to you guys what you want to do. I'll probably pick up Thanos just because that little bit of extra damage that he gains from his artifact is probably going to help out in PvP. Whereas, although Kate Bishop is very, very strong and I'm having a lot of fun with her, am I going to use her every single day? Mm, well, for now, yeah. This month, yeah. But after this month, well, still, yeah. <laughs> I'm not even gonna lie. Anytime I need to slap up Mephisto and I need a good speed character, Bakari's great, but Kate Bishop's still my girl. You feel me? I'm gonna use both of them. Hawkeye still can get some love too. But um, yeah, it's up to you guys what you wanna do personally. I am gonna think about picking up either Kate Bishop's artifact or Thanos. Probably heavy on Thanos because any week that he's available in timeline battle, I'm gonna run him as my main DPS extra damage so, so I can cut through those whales that have 100% extra HP on their cards. Hey man, a little bit of extra damage goes a long way, but it's up to you guys what you wanna do. In addition to that, there's gonna be a gold store opening up so you can get bios or you can get energy and then you can also get some good stuff from the gold chest. Hopefully you guys get whatever it is you're after. For me, at this point, I'm looking for EOD and possibly CCF. That way I can uh, rank up a lot of characters to level 70 using CCF and then EOD to balance out my insane TCP count because I'm up to like 30,000 right now and I'm only down to like, well, yeah, I'm on like 20,000 for EOD. So I need something to balance that out. Additionally, we have a crystal spending event um, most of you guys probably already bought your uniforms and already bought all your stuff. So 
this coming right now is kind of yikes. I would say if you're not a whale, probably don't spend too, too much right now. I'd say save all your crystals for the anniversary. More than likely, this is going to come back and it will probably line up better with when you need to spend on a lot of uniforms for the anniversary. For me personally, though, I'll probably spend the 12K trying to get CTPs because I want to put a CTP of authority on like five different characters. So yeah, look out for a lot of PVP videos possibly coming this week, depending on which CTPs on chance up. I've been waiting to get um, CTP of authority on chance up so I can go in for like maybe 10 of them boys. Hopefully I get lucky. So yeah, pray for me boys. So we have the platinum gift box, obviously with the typical rewards in here. Actually, no, I think they added the 10 million gold, right? This is you know, 10 million gold is actually pretty lit. You only get it one time though, right? You can either roll a dud roll like what I'm usually getting, like either the 50, the 30, or sometimes I'll get like a four star ticket, but 10 million gold for somebody like me, that's actually a, a decent amount of gold because I don't really need none of these. Like extra black antimatter, always helpful for a gear 25. I don't really use black antimatter anymore to level up characters. I usually use um, CCF or um, CNS. Chaos Northstones. Moving on, discount on unequipping custom gears. I'm also waiting on this to move some more CTPs around, so that's really good. Triple chance up. If you guys want to reforge, you big blubbery whales, go ahead, have your fun. I'm probably not going to mess with this. I don't see myself messing with this for a while, personally. I think any brilliance that I'm going for, I'm probably just going to spend my way to getting them guaranteed instead of playing with rng to get brilliance and then we have a ranking event for kate bishop so i can simp more for her and you guys can cry in your corner and i can just taste those tears because i see a lot of people hating on me for showing kate bishop some love it's actually crazy boys like i have fun with the character the character is actually really good i put her through the paces and show her proper respect the same thing i do for every character and my man is hating on me like, damn, this man overheard me this character. Hey man, chill out, chill the hell out. Anyway, so we have a Hawkeye event pack coming so you can spend a little bit of cash, support the game if you want to. And this is actually not a bad deal if you want to pick up the four star artifact and still get the CTP. Like last month, I believe what I did was I bought, what did I buy? I think I bought the $100 pack and then I got, I got the cards the card because i always go for cards every single month with this event shot because if you just play the game every single month boys and every single update they do this you get one free card 12 months of the year that's really good plus if you're playing gbr you probably end up with like maybe 17 premium cards per year it might not sound like a lot but once you get the ones that you need and then you re-roll bro you're set you can just be using all your premium cards to you know, constantly reroll to improve your set. So for me, I'm probably going to spend maybe a hundred bucks and then I'm probably gonna pick this up and then go for the four star artifact. And if I have enough left over, maybe I'll go for the CTP because extra CTP, if it's a good one, is more beneficial than a icon. I, I, love the, I love the icon for Hakai, but I already got the one for Kate Bishop. So I'm, I'm good off that, yo. <laughs> Man's are gonna come from my neck. But if I only oh wait no, why is it 70 79? Oh, that's weird. Wasn't it $99 before? Did they lower the price? Am I tripping? Maybe I'm used to the, the Canadian price, because you know Canadian dollars is uh monopoly money compared to US dollars, right? <laughs> but anyways, um I'm probably gonna go for the big boy pack, the number two here. Yeah, I think I think it's usually 80 bucks. I'm just tripping, right? 